Hello, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Ko Shakuna and I love drawing. I love drawing anywhere, at home, outside, when on vacation. And today I want to take you on vacation to Malta. We'll do that through Google Earth. And I want to take you to Malta because I am actually going to travel there in November. I'll be teaching a sketchbook travel workshop, which is organized by Brenda Murray from studio56boutique.com. And if you wonder where Malta is, well, come with me and I'll show you. Malta is an archipelago in the central Mediterranean, just off the coast of Italy, with a history dating back to 4000 BC. Let's pick a place to virtually travel to for today's video and then I'll tell you a bit more about Malta and about my workshop. I think the Mosta church would be fantastic to draw in real life. On Google Earth we can dream and draw. Simply grab the yellow man at the right hand side of the screen and drop it in the streets for a fabulous street view. I'm with my back to the church, but it's easy to navigate and find the right view to draw. Let's do this! With an overwhelming piece of architecture like this, there are many ways to get started without overthinking. And one of the approaches is the one-liner technique, also known as the continuous line. Okay, so the rules for the continuous line technique are once you place your pen on the paper, do not remove it until the drawing is finished. Your goal is to use one single line for your drawing. Look at your subject and then trace the subject with your eyes and let your pen follow in the same speed. And it should not be high speed. Slow down, like a seismograph. You will see that proportions and shapes will be easier to capture when you take your time and you're not rushing. At the same time, this technique helps to keep your pen moving because you need to find your way around the contours and the shapes with that one flowing line. The Mosta Dome is perhaps the most impressive church in Malta. That's what I hear say. It has a massive rotunda that is the third largest in the world. The Mosta Dome Church was built in 1860 and it is dedicated to the Assumption of Our Lady. During the Second World War, the church was almost destroyed when, during an air raid, a bomb fell through the dome without exploding. But it's still intact. And I'd love to see inside, because the dome is decorated with many paintings. I'll definitely go take a look in November. Will you join me in November? Through our sketchbooks, we'll discover Malta. To travel is to go on adventure. So many impressions, different cultures, language, tastes and smells. It's all part of the experience. And what better way to document it all in your sketchbook and doing it along with other artists like you. Let's find a spot in the narrow streets of Rabat Valletta or Medina and take it all in. Then capture your experience of the place by urban sketching. Brenda Murray is our host and organizer for this trip. She's the owner of Studio 56 Boutique. She's an artist, urban sketcher and arts advocate from Ontario, Canada. Brenda is a seasoned traveler. She organized numerous of travel workshops like this one and she will make sure that during this vacation workshop all goes smoothly for you. So far I have met her only via Zoom and I can't wait to travel with her because she is sweet and creative, energetic, positive and super fun. Brenda will bring us to the most beautiful spots on Malta. I'll teach daily on-site drawing workshops. Even if you think you can't, I will teach you fun techniques and exercises that will help you to capture things or places or views that might seem overwhelming at first. We'll explore line, color, shape and composition and we will all do it on location, drawing our surroundings. You will visit authentic villages, archaeological sites, we'll do a harbor cruise, we'll taste the food, we'll feel the sea breeze, draw, 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 and draw some more. And during this trip, you'll learn from me, but also from your fellow travelers. It's truly inspiring. By the end of it, your sketchbook is filled with memories, and you can go home energized and inspired. I've never been to Malta and I'm truly excited to go there and discover it. 
and I really hope that you will join me. Go to studio56boutique.com to find out more and to sign up. At this point in my drawing, I am breaking my own rules. Rules are there to be broken. I haven't quite completed my drawing, but I am picking my pen off the paper now because I need to step back, take a breather and see what more I need to add to describe this place. I think I need to add part of the foreground, so I'll use a second line for that. Again, a continuous line and I'm still taking it slow, my pen following the eyes, drawing the fountain, the railings and the plants and the cannon there. Because I'm working in a fairly small sketchbook, I can't go into detail much, which is good. There's so much to see, but by abbreviating, I translated the church onto my page. Now this definitely needs color. So I'll grab my watercolors just like I would do on location. And I mix a warm color that seems to match the church as I see it. My color is brighter than the color on Google Earth and maybe even in real life. I want to convey the sunny vibe, so I use a lot of pigment, not too much water, for bright colors. I'm adding a little suggestion of the buildings around and also the greens. By mixing and adding gray, I emphasize on the bright sunny weather. The sun drops dark shadows on the building and on the ground. I can also add some more building-like suggestion in the background and a couple of people walking by without using an actual sharp black line. Let's finish this by adding a bright blue sky. I can almost feel the breeze, which by the way in November is very pleasant, around 20 degrees Celsius. And I can almost hear the chatter of other artists around me. Your sketchbook is your best travel companion, but what if you could take a trip and be with a bunch of artists that all want to sketch and draw and make art all the time? Doesn't that sound really great? And in November, it's gonna be cold and gloomy here in Europe. So I'm super happy to go to Malta, a place I have never actually visited in person. And I would love you to be there too. You can find all the information that you need on studio56boutique.com and I really hope to see you in Malta. Tickets are limited, so be quick. And if you miss out, well, there's always Draw Tip Tuesdays. Yeah. See you next week. Bye.